Hello beautiful people, welcome to December 2019 and these 12 readings are for your sun, your moon, your rising. You can also watch them for Venus and for cross watching which is when you watch it for somebody close to you in your life, you want to know what's going on for them. So if this is your first time here, I'm Julie Poole, I'm a channeler, intuitive, psychic, hypnotherapist, coach and healer. You may find lots of stuff on the different playlists which you'll find on my main channel if you have a look for that which would be something you might be interested in. And also check out your weeklies. Although they're not per sign they do give you a really good heads up of what's coming up for the following week. I post every week. So if this is your first time here don't forget to subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss a thing and thank you for your your support, your care, your shares, your likes, your comments. I read everyone and I'm really so very grateful for your support on this channel. So grab yourself a coffee, a tea, get yourself comfy and let's have a look what's going on for December. How are you my lovely people? Let's see what's going on for us. I'm a Virgo sun. So I get us a lot. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. What we got for Virgo, please? I want the bottom of the deck. Oh, I say, come on. Six of Wands, success, riding high. Oh, tell me more about this, please. I'm just asking my team of angels who I work with, for those of you who haven't seen me before. Oh, hello, it just gets better and better. We've got the Three of Cups. We'll have a look at these in more detail in a minute. Three of Cups, celebration, party time. It is December, it's Christmas, it's part, um, holiday season, party season, but this is looking really good so far. Tell me more, please, for my beautiful Virgos. Page of Cups, there's an offer, an opportunity coming in here. I want one more and then we'll have a little look and talk about these cards. I've got loads of cards on this table. I'm just going to go to the cards that I'm meant to go to. I want this one as well. King of Pentacles, oh my days. Okay, let's have a look at these together. So these first two coming out. Well, I'm just getting such a rush here of energy coming through about, mm, they're giving me the word transformation. What do you mean transformation? Okay, so many of you have been working on something, developing it, trying to push it forward, trying to get it to the next level, and it's felt as if there's been breaks on. It feels as if the rains have been on, holding us back, and they're just showing me, right, transformation. It's, they're gone. Those reins are gone. We can move forward now. I'm surprised the chariot isn't here, but to be fair, these two are good enough, aren't they? So, the Three of Cups. This is an uplifting, celebratory party energy. So, and they're just, hang on, wait a minute. <laughs> if you haven't seen me before, I do this a lot. Just wait a minute, because my team around me uh, of angels and higher beings of light are getting very excited at the moment. So, um, <laughs> they're all talking at once and they're getting excited. So, what they're saying is, okay, there is success to be had at parties, networking, um, for those of you single, oh, us, because I'm single too, but for those of us single that are going, yeah, go to the parties, right, they're saying, so many of you will say, no, I can't be bothered, um, and it's cold, and it's wet, and it's rainy, if you're in the northern hemisphere, you lot down south, you're so blessed, you're in your beautiful summer, but there is opportunities here to go to a party where you can meet somebody. Now, this may be the love of your life, this may be your soulmate, but it could also be your new best friend, your new, um, your new boss, your new um, connections. There are connections coming in here um, that are gonna make you feel that something that you've been working on for such a long time is finally happening. 
oh oh I got tingles everywhere oh lovely tingles okay so these two here there is success so if you've been waiting for the love of your life to come in page of cups coming in with a happy happy offer uh, opportunity here if you've been wanting more friends you've been feeling a bit lonely a bit isolated go to the parties go to knock on your neighbors doors and say should we have a Christmas drink knock on um, yeah they're saying knock on your, the neighbors behind you in front of you either side of you take the initiative take the initiative because there is success here where you're going to meet some people that are going to enhance your life now this offer this opportunity coming in virgo this is not to be missed and they're telling me there is it's a one-off opportunity it's not going to present itself again for potentially a year or two so don't miss the boat, darling. Please don't miss the boat. Go for it. Go for those parties. Go for those invitations. Generate some of those invitations yourself. And it is around uh, other people, definitely, because that Three of Cups is all about um, celebrating with friends, you know? It's not quite the same dancing around the kitchen on your own. I do it, but it's not quite the same as dancing around with other people, is it? Right, so that is bringing in then the king of pentacles now mm, we know what this is about the king of pentacles is this energy of abundance of financial security this can be <clears throat> excuse me i just have a bit of tea a minute this can be um the the opportunity the job offer opportunity of a new boss this can be a man that you're meeting, a romantic partner that's very financially secure. These four are all linked, okay? So there is absolutely an opportunity here. Now, I know it's December, it's party time, um, but these this is a really strong time for us Virgos. And I know we love to go in the hermit mode and do that. Oh, I'll go next time. Don't. Don't, don't do I'll go next time. Do I'm going this time. It is... There is something there for you that is really important and really beneficial that is going to be so successful for you. Sorry, <coughs> a little tickle in my throat. Let me grab some more tea. We'll have a look what else they want to tell us. Okay, I want to go with these. These are the wisdom of the oracle. These are the new cards that I was talking about that I bought. Um, there's five lots of them. I'm still, we're still on the Gilded Tarot. All the links are below to the cards if you want to have a look. Okay, what else do you want to tell me about this, please? Tell me a little bit more about this success. Okay, to the sea. To the sea. All right, so, okay, let me have a look. These are new, so I don't know these cards yet. Okay, to the sea. All right, she's in, <laughs> she's in a bath here. I'm going to zoom this in so you can see it when I do the editing. She's in a bath, floating on the sea. She's on her own. Um, she's got binoculars. She's got the direction. And she's got, you probably won't see this, but there's the energy of the face, um, the face of an angel or source god there looking over her to the sea. To the sea, they're telling me this is about flow, cleansing, um, connecting connecting with what please so connecting with the flow rather than missing it okay i'm so stuck in what i'm gonna do i'm not noticing what the universe wants me to do i need to jump on the flow of the universal energy how do i do that connecting with your heart your being your i am presence and you just say simply show me show me i am open so show me we're going to the sea going in that flow Literally, for those of you who can, go to the actual sea, okay? So I live next to the estuary um, on the south coast here in England, in southwest England, um, and many of you have access to the sea. Um, so obviously many of you don't. But if you do, go to the sea. For those of you who don't, can you go to a lake, a river, some form of water? So the pools are not going to cut it, okay? So... When we're in that energy and we connect with the water, the flow, then we are in the flow. Why is this important, please? 
because we do this hermit thing if I'm comfy at home I can't be bothered um, I'm doing what I'm doing I'm focused on work all of that stuff that we do and connecting with the flow getting you out getting to the sea that is going to get you in the flow to move you forward into this energy that wants to pick you up and they're just showing me a wave picking you up and carrying you you haven't got to do any work here you've just got to go with the flow okay it's going to carry you and land you into a place that you are feeling different yes different how more connected more at peace more in tune more ready to move forward um, more excited about moving forward sorry they're just giving me this information hold on they want okay they want to pick you up and land you in a different place ready for January 1st 2020 2020 is an energy all about love and self-care and um, enriching your life and this the last few weeks of December is preparing you for that they're kind of moving you along they're just showing me moving you along into a place that is happier that is more successful that is more abundant with that king of pentacles what else can you tell me please oh, those two is it okay all right fork in the road and truth be told okay fork in the road all right we're going to stay with the fork in the road for a moment that fork in the road is taking you out of your comfort zone of hermit mode and into party mode many virgos me included we're introverts we're not necessarily that comfortable in a party we're we're, we're going to be found generally sort of sat chatting to people rather than dancing on the tables it's not kind of us really is it the majority of us anyway it's not really us to do that but <coughs> So I've had far too much incense going on in this room. It's, I love it, but it's got to the back of my throat. Okay, so um, fork in the road. So what they're wanting, Virgo, is it's not about changing who you are. It's not about trying to become an extrovert when you're an introvert, but it's allowing yourself to be an introvert in a more expanded space with other people rather than the isolated hermit on your own so that there's more balance. Okay, they're just showing me dipping in and dipping out of um, groups of people. Um, whereas a lot of Virgos will tend to prefer to be on their own or just with one or two people, it's dipping in and out of more groups, it's opening you up more. So this fork in the road is taking you towards that more um, group energy rather than individual energy. All right. Now, truth be told, we've got the owl here. I've not seen these cards before, it's very beautiful. So we've got the mask. We've got the owl, what's the owl sitting on? An open window that's showing expansion. So be in your truth, all right? I want you to question yourself. Being truthful with yourself. Um, <coughs> sorry, the incense is really getting to me. <coughs> so why are we questioning ourselves? All right, be truthful with yourself. Why don't I wanna go to that party? What's bothering me? Um, why don't I want to um, go off um, to, the, to the sea? Why am I hanging back and staying at home or focusing on work, the children, the family? Because I matter too. All right, so I want you to be truthful with yourself, really truthful, okay? Are you neglecting you? They're saying yes. Are you putting yourself at the back of the queue and putting everybody else's needs first? Yes. Um, that. If I've got any energy left after I've seen to the job, the kids, the house, the this, the that, the other, then I'll go. Oh, guess what? I've run out of energy. I can't go. Yes. So this is what they're telling me. So be truthful with yourself. We're wanting you to move forward, putting yourself at the front of the queue to say my needs matter. To be truthful with yourself about what is holding you back. Is it insecurities and wibbles and wobbles that stop you going to that party? Is it that perfection that we have about, oh, I need to lose another five pounds before I can get in that dress. I can't let people see me like this. 
is it that I need you to be really truthful with yourself and as you are you'll notice where you're being over critical you're being over perfectionist where you're missing out because of that perfectionism issue we're all we've all got it this is the main virgo trait about this perfectionism and self criticism because we're always about improving but it can hold us back my darlings it can hold us back so push yourself forward, be truthful with yourself and say, yeah, I am being a little bit of a, uh, a wuss here. I don't, you know, I need to push forward. So they want you to do that. I, that's enough from those cards. What else do you want to tell my Virgos, please? What else is going on for December? These cards here are the answer is simple. Um, they're really pretty and bright and simple, which we like simple. We overcomplicate things far too much. Far too much. Right. Want that one? Say I'm sorry. I want that one as well. And don't, oh, such a Virgo card. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay. You've got an enormous bear there with a tiny, tiny little mouse sitting on the top. It's all about seeing the bigger picture and we get so caught up in the detail this is such a Virgo reading isn't it come on uh, we get so caught up in the detail you want to see me this morning trying to get my new layout just perfect moving things no that there that there sometimes we need to say don't sweat the small stuff just go for it just get on with it don't sweat the small stuff. That's what they want you. The, yeah, they're saying that's the main energy. The main, not energy, sorry, they're correcting me. The main message, not just for December, for the next three months, don't sweat the small stuff. Try and get out of that detail. Um, look at the bigger picture. Rise above it. Um, ask yourself, will this really matter in five years' time? Am I just being too picky? We can't help it, but we can try to um, recognise that we do that and ask ourselves, does that serve me? And the answer is no, it doesn't. Okay, so then we have to work not to do that. All right, I know it's hard, but we can do it. We can do it. Okay. Now, some of you, we've got say I'm sorry here. Some of you, not all of you. Oh, yeah, no, she's just correcting me. Okay. All of us need to say, I'm sorry, to someone. For the majority of us, it's to ourself. We need to say, I'm sorry. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. That's the Hubapono prayer, by the way. Um, for those of you, yeah, I listen to Sandra Rolas who's got a beautiful meditation for the Hopopono prayer, which is all about how to um, come into a place of peace and forgiveness, okay? So, coming back to the card, say I'm sorry to yourself, because as you do that truth be told stuff, you'll realise that you've been so hard on yourself and so picky on yourself and that you've been missing out on parties and fun and play because we're work addicts and... We want to be saying to ourselves, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I've been like holding you back from your fun. I'm sorry I've been holding you back from your confidence by constantly picking on you and criticising you for not being perfect. Say I'm sorry. There's a few of you who need to be saying sorry to somebody else. So one of our weaknesses is this criticism where we think we're trying to help, you know, guide somebody, or perhaps you should do it like this. So have you thought about that when it's uninvited advice and it makes that other person feel less than and inadequate and insecure? And we don't mean to do that, but we often come across that way. So have a little truth be told, all right? Am I being like that with my partner, my kids, uh, my colleagues at work, even my boss? In which case, if I recognise that, I need to say I'm sorry and then I need to pull back. Because really, we should only be offering advice if somebody's asked for it. And if they don't want to take it, even if they've asked for it, that's okay. But that's the sort of thing that will annoy us. Well, you asked, I've told you, and now you're ignoring me. It's their choice. They were asking and they were not liking the answer so that's their right to say no I'm not going to listen to that so some of you need to be saying I'm sorry all right why is this 
as we approach the party season, the Christmas season, the holiday season, um, some of you, your relationships may be a little bit tense because of that kind of criticism or helpful advice. Um, and we want to, they're saying, we want you to be in an energy of harmony and love and closeness and connection for this holiday season so that it's uplifting, so that it feels connection and warmth in the heart. That's what they want for us. Um, for this season. Now, they're asking me to talk to those of you who are on your own because Christmas can be one of the hardest times for those people who are on their own. Many people have got no family and um, no partner and some people have got no friends either and they're very, very isolated. So if this is you watching this, this message actually about trying to get out there and join something is for you. Generally, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in this country, in England, we tend to throw in the local pub a Christmas dinner for people who are single and on their own, that basically haven't got anybody else and pull them together. There's also social clubs, bridge clubs, bowling clubs, chess clubs, knitting clubs, craft clubs, if you go join things, you'll get to know people. They'll be putting on some form of Christmas party, but it means you're making that effort. So that's for, that's for some of you. I want one of these. Let's see what is in here. These are very beautiful kind of affirmation cards. They're called the power of love. They're not romantic cards, but love, okay? So what do you want to tell my Virgos for December, please? I want the bottom one as well, okay. All right, so we have got forgiveness. I was just talking about the Hapapono prayer, which is all about forgiveness for self and for others. Forgiveness, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. It's love that forgives, and we want to move into 2020 without holding on to bitterness and the old stuff, you know? So this is an energy in December of forgiveness. And let's be fair, it's December, it's Christmas. It is the Christ consciousness that is all about the heart and love and forgiveness. This is such an energetic, powerful time for love. So harness it, get on the bandwagon of forgiveness. Start with you, forgiving you for all your past errors, past imperfections, past poor judgments. They weren't poor judgments at the time. They were the best judgments you could do at the time with the tools you had at the time. Forgive yourself. Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. My goodness me, these so, so tie in with what we were saying there. Get out, go to things, cooperate with other people, get involved with groups. So let's read these again. Cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. So when we say, I'm not going to that party, there's no point. This card says there's value. There's value, go, okay? Forgiveness, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. All right, I'm gonna have an angel card and I think we are done. I hope this reading has helped um, give you some direction and some help. A door to the infinite, door to the infinite, expansion, infinite, no limits, all right, limitless, I am limitless, I am, okay? This card is knowing that the universe is limitless, that you are limitless, there is nothing that holds you back, there is nothing that's in the way except what you believe is in the way. You are limitless. Hold on to that energy now through December as you go into that truth energy, as you go into pushing past that discomfort of I don't want to go. Go, push out, push forward, expansion, a door to the infinite. 
All right, Virgo, I hope that helps give you some guidance. There'll be an extra little reading around Christmas from me. Keep an eye out for that. And I will see you for the weeklies. And if not, in January. You take care. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Lots of love. Bye-bye.